What's up guys, it's Josh from Soul Studios. I'm back with another quick Pro Tools tip video. I'll try to keep this one under a minute like I did the last one. And what we're dealing with today is that when you want to import session data, like you usually do in Pro Tools, but you need to import from a project instead of a session file. I ran into this situation this past week uh, where I was collaborating with my friend Patrick Rock and I had uh, some of the stuff we were working on in Dropbox, some of my local hard drive, and then I had created a project to make it a little bit easier for me to go back and forth between my laptop that I work on in the living room and the studio computer out here in the studio, the, the Mac Pro. So when I first went to do this, I realized it didn't work the same and I didn't know how to do it. So once I figured it out, I wanted to make sure I pass it along. So here's the deal. If you're working on a session and maybe it's the same song or even an older project that you did and you're like, oh, I like the synth sound on that one, which is what I was doing. Instead of going to file import session data like you normally do, because what that's going to do is just give you the option of session files. You're not going to find a place to import from any projects. So the workaround or the, the way to do it actually is you're going to go to file open project and then the one I wanted to import is, um, here we go. So you find your project, you're going to click this down arrow, and you're going to go to Open Revision History. And then from there, you're going to see the import option. And uh, you, you'll have all of your automatic backups or manual saves to choose from, you know, if there's another version. But I just did the most recent, click Import, and then you're back to the import session data uh, interface that you're used to seeing. And all of it will behave the same from this point on. So I wanted to bring in this synth track. Uh, make sure to copy from source media if it's you know somewhere else like the situation I was dealing with. You're not all on one computer. That way you won't have missing audio files later. And you're going to uh, import. And we're going to make a new track because it wasn't one that I had yet. And it's going to bring it up just how you normally would. So... Anyway, I hope that's helpful. I'm going to be back real soon with what I think is the best vocal compressor ever made, the Retro 176 review, and also the Bees Knees BU87. I know you guys are getting tired of me saying that, but I have been working on it for quite a while, and I've put together something that I think is really going to highlight what those microphones are capable of. All right, sorry for the edits, guys. I literally had every member of my family come out here. You know how it is when you have a home studio and kids and so forth. So I had to cut this one up a couple times. Uh, but I will be back soon. Like I said, the Retro 176 review, the Bees Knees BU87 microphone review. So go ahead and subscribe so you'll be the first to know when those come out. All right, thanks, guys. Until next time.